Today's topic is keyboard and toolbar tips. As most of you know, Composer's functions can be accessed through the drop-down menus along the top. Also, many of you could currently use the main features toolbars in this general area. And if I click on this area over here, the standard convention is anything that has a blue checkbox is out and visible. So I can add more toolbars, I can take the standard toolbars off, for example, or maybe tear off toolbars, so I'll do some markup here. We can have these out here to access, or we can stack them up here as well. Now, I've seen people put every conceivable icon up on the top here, and that's fine if that's the way you work. Personally, I like, I like a little less clutter. So I'd like to show you some more customizable techniques. Um, one is to create your own toolbar, so I can do that view, bars, customize, and then toolbars. I'm going to click new. I'll just type in Todd's tools. And I'll drag this little empty one out now. And go to commands. Now any command I want to put in here, for example, if I want to go to view, bars, and full screen mode, render, navigate, transform, anything I want to do I can throw up in this toolbar. And it, it's very quick, easy to access. So it's um, a, a nice, efficient way of doing it. So now if I want to access those tools, for example, go to full screen mode, you know, click a bar, show selection only, etc. But I want to talk about another technique too that I think is even more productive, and that's hotkeys. So to access the hotkeys, it's the same, view, bars, customize. This time we go to keyboard. Now the categories represent the categories along top. I'm going to go to the render category, click in the commands and type in show. It'll take me alphabetically down to all the show commands. Show selection only. I'll set mine up as Alt S. And I've set a few other hotkeys up. So I'm going to show you how that help can help you increase productivity. So again, I'm going to go to full screen mode here and just capture a view and maybe pick walk up assembly tree show those only capture that view maybe I'll grab these guys select these, deselect these, show selection only capture another view grab this, pull this out maybe go over to here, use our spherical explode and then our linear explode Maybe I'll select by color of these guys and move those again with a hotkey. Now if I tab this, I can see my files in here, my pieces in here. I'll move those out and linear explode those. Grab some of these, linear explode those, and move them out as well. So now I have an exploded view that I can capture. To see my views, I can go back to close my screen mode. Now here's the views I just captured. And it's a very, very quick way to um, maximize your screen real estate and increase your productivity and actually give you less carpal tunnel because you're not going up constantly clicking on the menus and uh, looking at them that way. So hopefully that helps increase your productivity. And um, thank you very much. Bye.